Extra perspective on Armando Silva and how his family wants to remember him. I spoke to Silva's aunt who wanted to send condolences to Officer Hernandez's family on behalf of Silva's family. And she also wanted to shine a light on the lack of support for those living with mental health issues like her nephew. The person that was involved in this event was not the loving, caring nephew that I knew growing up and who I loved dearly. Virginia Lerma said they called Armando Silva AJ and he grew up with Lerma's children, his cousins. Growing up, he was playful, very intelligent until again, he started um, suffering from this condition that he had. Lerma said Silva was diagnosed with schizophrenia when he was in his late teens or early 20s. I don't know if he needed more treatment or what happened. We don't know what his state of mind was at the time that this event happened, but he he was seeking treatment for his condition. As his family, we all tried to do whatever we could to support him, to try and get him the need necessary help. Our city, unfortunately, doesn't have the necessary resources to help the many persons of afflicted by mental illness. She also wanted to correct what police had said about Silva being homeless. His mother worked three jobs to pay for his apartment so that he would not be sleeping in the streets. Lerma said their family planned Silva's funeral on Tuesday, grieving someone they tried desperately to protect. AJ was a loving, caring, a part of our family, we're left with the memory of him and we're mourning him. He was a human being that we love dearly. And I hope that everyone can forgive him because that was not our AJ that we knew, but his mental illness just was so overwhelming and it controlled his life. Lerma said she feels more needs to be done to increase mental health care options in Las Cruces. And she mentioned the closure of the crisis triage center as one way the system failed her nephew.